Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how can you generate pivot table using Python. And for performing this activity, I am already having some data in the form of CSV wherein you can see we have like type school, school accreditation, gender, interest, residence, parent age and many more columns here. So what we are going to do is we will uh, generate a pivot table. So based on the residence of students, we want to know what are their interests. So let's say uh, one urban category if we are looking at. So under urban category, how many students are falling under less interested? So we just want to see the count rather than looking at the data in such format. So let me close this and start coding for it. And for performing this, we will be using pandas. So pandas as pd. And then we will go ahead and read that CSV file using read CSV. Herein we need to pass the name. So our file name is data.csv. So I will quickly put it here. Okay, so here we have read the file. Next thing is we need to filter out the columns, what all columns we are interested in. So for that, we can reuse the same data frame and just update it. So inside this, I will say first I need the column interest. Then I need a column residence, which is holding like urban, rural and all those. And then we need gender because we are going to count gender. So let me put it in quote here. Okay, so these are the columns we are interested in. Now we have the column. I can quickly print this and show you how it looks like. So give it a few seconds to get triggered. So this is how you can see in the bottom panel we have interest, residence and the gender. Well, so let's remove this particular print statement and start creating the pivot table. So I will name my pivot table variable as ptable and we'll try to make a call to function pivot table. So you can see what all parameters it take. The first parameter we need to supply is the index. So based on which column you want to perform this. So I want residence to be my column for indexing. And then I would say what would be my column names. So columns, just I want interest because I don't want multiple over there. And as a third parameter, we need to define what do you want to perform? What calculation you want to perform on your values? So I just want to perform count like how many males or females are there in that particular category. So here we need to use aggregation function which is agfunc and in this you can supply count. So once this is done we can have a quick look at how this table is looking right now. Execute it and Let's give it a few seconds again. And you can see that at the bottom, uh, we have the data as we are expecting. And the one thing which we can do to have a better visualization, we can quickly export it to our Excel so that it would be easy for us to see how exactly it is looking. So let's call to Excel function. And in that we can pass the name, my power data. And the extension would be XLSX. Okay, and then we need to. So these are all the parameters which you can supply. And then what uh, name you want to give it to your sheet. So we can just say Pivot Data. And from which column or which row you want to start. So that is a parameter start row. So you can define which row. So let's say I want to start from the second row. So this is what we need to give. Let's quickly run it and let it generate a file. Okay, so now if I will go to my current directory, I can see that a file is generated my pivot data, which is holding, let me reduce its size. Okay, so here you can see the data which was generated is this. So for rural category, 
let me expand this columns okay so these are the residence categories and these are the interests so if you are looking at the rural there are 158 uh, people uh, who are falling under the less interested well as well uh, whereas for the urban there are 171 similarly we have other categories too so i hope you understood how to generate pivot table and push it into excel thanks for watching and do let me know in comments how you feel about it. Thank you.